I love sports, I love being strong, but does that make me less of a woman? Oftentimes, I pride myself on being very confident in who I am, but I haven't always been this way. When I was a teenager, I often wrestled with the issue of what it meant to be a real woman and what it meant to be authentically feminine. I love sports. I thrived on the competition and the discipline it took for me to hone my craft. I loved competing against the boys because of how it called me to push myself beyond my limits. Even though I love sports, it came at a price. My body became both my strength and my downfall. I had a very athletic frame, muscular thighs, a thick torso, no thigh gap, and very wide hips. My eyebrows looked like caterpillars, and I was by far the tallest girl in the entire class. By all definitions, I was a tomboy, which was not defined as feminine at the age of 13. Boys would make fun of my strength and would often see me as one of them. I started to think to myself, what's wrong with me? I love sports, I love being strong, but does that make me less of a woman? Does that make me less deserving of love? By the time I got to college, where I was able to play collegiate tennis for four years, my differences started to be my strengths. I started to realize that they had always been my strength. As a teenager, I didn't realize what a gift I truly was. That strong is fully feminine and fully beautiful. So clearly, I remember last year when I decided to enter into my very first powerlifting competition. I was amidst women who fully embraced their strength and fully embraced their bodies, flaws and all. I never felt so alive, so feminine, and so comfortable in my own skin. I love what lifting did for my mind, my body, and my soul. After all, isn't that what authentic femininity is all about? Simply put, authentic femininity doesn't have a particular face, shape, or liking, but it dwells in knowing our strengths, weaknesses, and quirks, and choosing to be freely who you are and living them out fully. Authentic femininity means embracing your weirdness and your quirks. Let's be real, I love making dinosaur noises, watching bug wars, and Q-tipping my ears. Does that make me weird? Probably. Does it make me any less feminine or lovable? No. Ladies, no matter your strengths or your weaknesses, no matter your likes or dislikes, your sport, your body shape, or your weird quirks, you are fully feminine and fully beautiful. You've been given these unique traits as gifts from the Father and to rest in the fact that these very traits are what make you fearfully and wonderfully made. That as women, we should rejoice in other women's strengths and lift them up rather than comparing ourselves. Authentic femininity comes from the confidence in knowing whose you are, not who you are. Know that even amidst this crazy, wild, hormonal ride of being a woman, you are always enough. Thanks so much for watching. Tune in every single week for new videos and new content. Or if you're really eager and you love us so much, subscribe here or click to see more videos here. Krista out. Mm.